Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. I had a patient recently wanted to know what causes hypoglycemia, and I want to create a little video on that. Hypo means low glycemia, which means sugar in the blood. When the sugar goes down too low, you feel uh, dizzy, irritable, uh, craving for sweets, thirsty, um, depressed, all these different symptoms, okay? So if the sugar goes low, um, it's not good. If the sugar goes high, it's not good. But here's what initially happens. Uh, you start, even in my case, start off eating a lot of sugar. So as a child, you eat a lot of sugar and you're eating large quantities of sugar. Now, if you think about it, when you measure your sugars, it should be like between 80 and 100. Let's say 100 is normal, roughly. 100 units um, of sugar in your blood. What does that mean? It means that equivalent to roughly around one teaspoon of sugar per gallon of blood. It's not a lot. It's a little tiny bit. So you can imagine if you consume, I don't know, a cup of flavored yogurt, a glass of juice, that's 38 grams of sugar. That's 38 grams of sugar in one small period consuming them. I mean, I remember myself, I had hypoglycemia. I remember going trick-or-treating, coming home, with a bag this big of candy, sitting down and eating the whole thing in one sitting. What was I thinking or not thinking? It was crazy. I mean, talk about a massive whiplash to that pancreas. That's a trauma situation. My body had to raise insulin so high to get this out and work so hard. If you do that a few times in a row, it's gonna create a whiplash effect. So it's gonna overreact and bring it down and keep it down there too low because I've, I'm creating a kind of a stimulus response thing. I'm just like hitting that thing, it's going up and it comes right down. So that's an overreaction, that's hypoglycemia. Other causes of hypoglycemia could, could stem from adrenal stress as well because the adrenal gland can create that as well but also just sugar in general. Um, because I'll have people like, they don't eat sugar but they have hypoglycemia because the adrenals are stressing out and that's turning your protein into sugar. But that's, um, that happens when you get a little bit older. But when you're younger, it's just the sugar. So sugar goes into the bloodstream. Your body can only maintain one teaspoon per gallon. So it has to trigger insulin to pull it out. If you start doing too much, it converts to fat. Okay. And then, and basically what happens over time is hypoglycemia then turns into hyperglycemia high sugar because this gets exhausted and the other thing is that your body considers that much sugar toxic so it's going to start to repel and block and resist insulin they call it insulin resistance so the cells in the liver are going to block it and not accept that sugar and so you might have the high spike of sugar from the pancreas but it won't allow it in the liver okay so now if it won't allow the insulin to be going in the liver and the insulin suppresses sugar, then the sugar stays high. So we have hyperglycemia, diabetes, okay? And that comes from doing too much of this. I mean, sometimes on, so funny, I have a comment on YouTube where people will make these comments which they have no clue. They'll make a comment like, oh, um, eating sugar doesn't cause diabetes. It's all genetic. Like, really? Just genetic? That's, we're born with that? That doesn't make sense. Um, and also they say well, you can't ever cure diabetes type 1 because it's all just autoimmune. Well, what happens over time is that you do this over a period of time, you are going to burn this out because even when people are diabetics, they never really crack the diet. They, they just take the medication. Then you burn this out and now you have to take insulin. Why? Because this has stopped working. That's type 1. That wasn't created from an autoimmune. That was created from bad diet. Okay, so the point is that what we want to do is we want to avoid sugar. <laughs> That's the goal. And there's various uh, videos I have to actually improve the pancreas and the blood sugars and all that. But I just wanted to talk about what causes hypoglycemia in this video. So I will see you in the next one.